Family and friends mourn a Kansas City teenager tonight, two days after someone shot and killed him on Kansas City's east side, 27th and Quincy. 13 year old Travion Stewart. He is the second child to die in a shooting in Kansas City this month. A third child was shot and critically wounded. Stewart's loved ones held a balloon release tonight at the spot where he was killed. Fox 4 Shannon Russo live outside police headquarters tonight after speaking with the teen's brother and uncle Shannon. And tonight, police still staying tight lipped on details in this case. We haven't gotten a lot of updates. In fact, the only one we have so far is at the victim. You mentioned 13 year old Travion Stewart. During the preliminary investigation, police initially said they thought the victim was in their 20s. As we found out, though, that is not the case. <laughs> Blue and gold balloons rise above the Kansas City sky Wednesday night, remembering Travion Stewart, who was murdered here Monday afternoon. Among those gathered are Travion's parents and siblings, including his younger brother, 12 year old Terion. Horrible. It's, that's just like, who's my brother? Yeah. It's hard to, you know, put it in words. So, but in. That's my brother. Terion says his brother was a wonderful person who played football and dreamt of becoming a rapper. His impact evident as roughly 75 people lined the street for tonight's balloon release. Have you ever met a smart person, but what, they didn't want to show that they were smart because they thought it was nerdy? He was like that. He was smart, funny. He was a lot of things. Everybody around Kansas City really know who Trevor is, you know. He's a nice kid, you know, and uh, I'm mad this happened to him. Earlier today, Mayor Quinton Lucas spoke about Travion's death, which made him the third young person to be shot and killed in the city in just the last two weeks. Every homicide is a tragedy, but homicides of children have this ripple effect in our communities and in our schools, and we're all united in making sure they stop. The mayor says he spoke with Police Chief Stacy Graves and the Board of Police Commissioners yesterday about the rise in gun violence among Kansas City's youth. In Travion's case, it's still unknown who shot him and why. Two answers his family and friends hope are answered soon. If anybody hear anything, please let the police know you ain't snitching. We just need y'all right now, you know. And we want to catch this killer off the street before he do somebody else like that. And this is still an active investigation. A suspect has yet to be caught. Police and the family are urging anyone with information on who killed Travion Stewart to call homicide detect detectives or the tips hotline. Shannon Russo live downtown at police headquarters tonight. Shannon, thanks. And as we mentioned, that teen's death is among a string of recent shootings affecting young people all in April. In fact, 11 year old Courtney Freeman died April 10th in a drive by shooting. She was an innocent victim at 33rd and Bales. Another drive by shooting critically injured a six year old on his bike last week. Another innocent victim and five year old Marie Scott died after getting a hold of a gun in his home. Police have labeled that one an accident.